The test pyramid is a framework to think about how we structure automated tests. At the base are many unit tests, then a smaller layer of integration tests, and at the top, just a few end-to-end -end tests, since those are the slowest and most fragile. That pyramid worked great when most software applications were monolithic, one big block of code where everything ran together. But modern software isn't built that way anymore. Today, most software applications are made up of microservices, separate components for things like authentic authentication, payments, or recommendation. That changes how we test. It's no longer enough to test each service in isolation. You also need to check how they interact. That's where contract testing comes in, verifying that APIs between services behave exactly as expected. Integration testing becomes a bigger focus because there are more moving parts to validate. And then there's AI. If your software includes AI features like personalized recommendations, traditional testing doesn't fully apply. You can't unit test a model's decision-making ability like you would normal logic. Instead, you test data quality, model accuracy, bias, and drift, and you monitor how those models perform in production. So what does the new test pyramid look like? You still need a strong foundation of unit tests and reliable integration and end tests, but now you also need an extra layer focused on data and model quality, something that was missing from the original test pyramid. Software applications have evolved from monolithic to microservices and now to AI-powered software applications. Your testing strategy needs to evolve with them.